Hey guys, Drew Brashler. Today we are going to be jumping in with another one of my effects series with the Behringer X32. Today we're going to be looking at the DSer, which is an emulation of the SPL 1219. Now this is, was a DSer that was built back in like 1990, and it's a really good tool to use for someone who's very syllable kind of like me, and being able to reduce those S's to make it sound a lot more natural. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what we can do with this. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit our effects button up on the LCD screen. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this on um, our effects channel eight. And so to do that, we go ahead and scroll all the way down to effects eight, and then we use this rotary knob to go and find our de-esser. Now we have two options. We have a dual de-esser and a stereo de-esser. The dual de-esser would allow us to have this on two separate channels in a mono configuration, um, separately working together. And then the stereo is if we were wanting to insert this on say like some drum overheads, that was a stereo setup. Um, and then the controls of one works for both of them. So um, we are going to use the dual de today. And uh, basically what we wanted to go ahead and do is insert this on a channel. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this on channel one today. And once you accept that, we're gonna go ahead and press insert to actually apply this on this channel. Now once we have done that, we can go ahead and press edit. Now there's two different um, controls um, for each side. So this is for our A side, this is for our B side. We have low band and high band, and then we have a configuration between female and male. Now the difference here is the low band with the male is 6.5 kilohertz, is right where the cut is around, and then the high band is sitting up at 11.3 kilohertz. Now if we go to female, it's then at 7.9 kilohertz, and the same 11.3 kilohertz. And make sure to check out my blog post about this. I did some smart measurements and also um, just showing how the curve actually looks when it is in compression on the, on the S's. So all we have to do is just use our control knob here to select male or female, if it's male or a female speaker, and then we just start dialing these up. Um, and then here is a video of my actual testing with this and it also shows smart so you can not only hear the difference but you can also watch the difference in a uh, transfer function. Testing of the deesser. 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 Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video on the DSer. It's a really awesome tool that we can use for helping reduce those S's and the syllable sounds of a lot of speakers, kind of like myself. Now make sure you do check out the blog post at dbbaudio.com and I'll put a link below. I went ahead and published the screenshots of the uh, smart measurements that I made with the DS or showing how that actual curve looks when it's in compression on both the high and the low side. So if you have any questions, feel free to post below, but thank you guys.